Bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. Hello, this is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome to my channel, and if you're an OG, welcome back. This is the second episode of The Witcher 3. Now, um, you're probably wondering why I'm here. We did leave off uh, at a camp earlier, and I was in the middle of recording the second episode, and I wanted to check my volume, and well, it saved the game. So, I'm here, and yeah. We'll just talk to this merchant. Well, basically what happened, he was getting attacked while his horse was being eaten by, I believe it was a griffin, and um, we saved the day. So we're going to head on with Vesemir. Let's Take go. Take it easy. All right. Yep. All right, let's go. Which way am I going? Yeah, this way. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. In the forest to the mountain shore, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it. Whoa! Whoa! What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Witches. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. I love Geralt's necklace. Beg pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Um, let's see. I don't really have anything, but... Um... Let's ask about the contract on the griffin. Is there a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Okay, I'm looking for a woman. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes. Dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. <laughs> might be worth your while to ask after her. 
Right. Uh, dialogue options mark. X will end the conversation. Space to continue. Okay. Um, show me what you've got. Show me what you got behind yeah. the counter. Let's see. You have nothing. Uh, you have some food. We do need that. So we're going to... Oh, I don't have any money, do I? Wait. That's my inventory? Right. Um, I do need food. So I'm going to grab the grapes. Um, ooh. Okay, we're just gonna take a couple. I mean, what's... Alright. Anything cheaper? <laughs> like, seriously? The... Wow. Okay, what about the chicken? The chicken leg, eggs. This is a little pricey. Alright, we're just gonna take the apples. These are a little cheaper. Cause we're broke. Alright, let's 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 be enough. Right? Yeah. Um, pretty busy place. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Uh, yep. Yeah. Thanks for everything. Thanks. For everything. you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Here. Black one's been out measuring the field. All right. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. <sighs> Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? Pass Typical cat. Give it to their own. All right, let's uh, talk to the peasants, shall we? I'm looking we? for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Rude. Um, okay, so we have dialogue options, and I can use Axie to make people talk, but there's repercussions if I use it and someone sees or whatever. I can also just use regular dialogue. I think I'm gonna push my luck and use Axie. So yeah. Raven haired woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Boy, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. That's right. Sit down. <laughs> okay. Uh, should we try talking to him? Let's... Be gone. We'll not talk to you. I guess he's done. Um, let's see. Who else? We've got Vesemir. These two nut butters. Let's go over here. The cat. It's evil. More. There are four factions. Four what? Factions, teams, suits, similar to clubs and spades, Let's except each suit has its own Talk to these guys. Fit. What a waste of time. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Oh no. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher, with tenure. <laughs> I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What do you mean? Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. 
A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her. Armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. Hmm. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No, facts interest me, not fairy tales. Okay, um... Why are you here? Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. Hmm. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Write about the war. What's it really like? No, go back to your books while you can. Take my advice. Go back to your books while you can. War's no game. No faculty meetings to attend, no tenure to gain, end notes to compile. First soldier you seal kill you. Why would he do that? Me? A neutral civilian? A scholar? Boots. Come again? He'll kill you for your boots. I mean, he's telling the truth. War make it to Novigrad yet? War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Farewell. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwen? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Ah, uh, I really suck. Oh well, okay, fine. Fine. Oh, yes. Hmm, why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done. I suck at this game. Sure. Yeah. Gwent is an ancient dwarven card game that simulates the clash of two armies in battle. The players are generals and the cards are their forces. You will go first. I will lose. To begin, your begin. you draw 10 cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match. You will not draw any more cards, so use these wisely. Yeah, card games uh, like this are not my forte. Okay, so... I assume these are pawns, so to speak. So, we'll, of course, grab one of these, right? Oh, wait. This is the unit's combat row icon. This indicates the row on the battlefield where the card can be played. What is this? This is the special team. Um, this is the moral boost with grants plus one strength to all units. Okay. So this is the... Um, Okay, this is a weather card. Okay, whatever. D did I choose? Or okay, here's the battlefield. This is your side. This is his side. During each turn, a player may face one card on the battlefield or pass. Do not come at me in the comments because I don't know what I'm doing. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability, which can be used only once during a battle. Trigger the special ability at any point by pressing X. Each deck has a leader. Okay. Um, press enter to select a card uh, from your hand. Press enter again to place it on the battlefield. Okay. My turn. Already. Yay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um... Okay. Mm. Okay. Um. Okay, let's let's go with you. How about that? Yeah. Okay, enter. I don't know. The number on the left of your, uh, by your icon shows the current total strength of your units. The number on the right shows the total strength for that row. Both values are updated when a card is played. Okay. 
During your turn, you can pass by holding down space. Once you pass, you cannot play any more cards during that round. Your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. You should pass when you're confident you can win with the units you already have in play or to let your opponent win and save your cards for the next round. Okay, well, I'm not that smart with this game, so here we go. Oh, a round ends once both players have passed. The players then compare the total strength other units to determine the winter the winter the winner uh, all cards in the battlefield are discarded and both players total strength is reset to zero the opponent's turn hmm should I have should I put that up here can I move this no too late um okay we'll go with this dude here yeah. Okay. Oh, enter. So what is this? F2. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling this is a setup for me to win. Okay. Um. What is this? Archers. Let's go with. Let's go with archers. Oh, okay. Well, fine. What the list is. Can I read his stuff at all? No? Um, we're gonna put another archer down. confused okay so this is my entire hand right I can't I can't use any more correct uh, can I um let's let's just go can I spay okay I have, I have to I have to keep going um Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, can I just skip? I thought space was skip. I don't want to forfeit the game. Okay, let's let's add a melee. Okay, what is this? Fine. Um, we will go with uh, snow to your fog. Um, I see. When he's in the area of fog, he loses. Strength, I guess. Um, let's add rain. That affects everybody. My goodness. How do I pass? How do I pass? Space? Isn't it space? Shoot. Okay. I have no idea. Oh, cancel. Okay, I don't want to use that. So, what now? He passed. Okay. This is so bad. I have no idea what I'm doing. I thought you could push spacebar to pass, right? Uh, 
Okay. Well, you know what? We're just going to use this. It, it won't matter. Oh, okay. I have no cards. He's got two cards. Clear weather. Oh, sweet. I won by default. <laughs> Escape. Well, well, you've a knack for this game. Mm. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Yeah, I will be going. I suck at Gwent. I want a new Gwent card that will never get used. If you want to examine it, open the game menu and go to the Gwent deck panel. Okay, new item received, blah, blah, blah. Let us go and talk to this guy here. Yeah. Gunter. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Mm -hmm. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Um, fine. I'll have a drink. Fine. I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. He looks like a turtle. Uh, how do you know Yen? How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. Of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Know who I am, eh? Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too? To your health. Okay, well, who might you be? What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim, at your service. Turtle, turtle. Vagrant. That a profession now? Ah, uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, who might? Okay, I asked that already. Where's Jennifer? You seen Jennifer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask: Is this about love? <laughs> I mean, none of your business. None of your business. Yes, as a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. Well, I mean, you're not. What a do you know? Tell me. Favorite. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Hmm. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Perhaps. And he disappeared. Like, completely. He's magical. Alright, so let's head back. Did we, we talk to that guy? Uh, oh, yeah, he's over here. And, um... Wait a minute. That cat it is something wrong. I think this is my stash. Yeah, you can throw weapons or armors. Yep, yep, yep. 
Okay, what is this? This is my weapon. Uh, let me, I need that. I need that. Yeah, let's head back. Listen, listen. Cat. Yes? What is it, Wolf? I've uh, been on the path for a, half a year now. Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun? Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now... Everything's all confused. Hmm. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. Okay, well, see ya. See you later, Vesemir. I guess I need to leave? Where am I going? <laughs> Cat cracks me up. All right. What do you want? I'm drinking. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're bad. Fuck off. Whoa. Don't want your kind here. Back off. I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course no. No, I, uh... He done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft. Get him! Did he call me a horse, son? Really? Let's dance. Nice meeting you. I'll leave you alone. Let me get on Ruich. Alright, where am I headed to? Oh, sorry. Oh, I guess I should be picking. Uh, Slow now. Whoa. Picking, uh, yeah. King had called for the Antsman straight away. <laughs> Toss some coin at him. Problem solved. I'll be doing a lot of this, just so you know. Let's see, there's some stuff over here. Oh, let's talk to her. Really? Okay. I forgot how to call Roach. Is it Y? Oh, whatever. Let's just run back. We're not that far. Oh, he made his way back. That's what. Or she. Roach is a girl. Slow now. Right? Yeah. Okay, so let's... Uh... Whoa. Oh, that's right. We're going to head to somewhere. And, uh... Whoops. My sense of direction is horrible. Go, go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that a, uh... Hey, uh... Uh, yeah, okay, quest board. Well, I'm here. Pick some, uh, herbs for potions and such. All right, so these are quest boards. I'm gonna go ahead... Notice boards. Let's see what we got. Just gonna grab these guys. Not even gonna read them right now. <laughs> I will read them later. But let's uh, talk to this person over here. Oh! What's that, Willis? What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. No need to be sarcastic. What do you think happened, Dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Okay. Yeah, don't insult me. Easy on the insults. I could add to your misfortune. Any suspects? 
whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang down to the plate, shoe horses. That's what I think. Mm. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. Yeah, uh, I can find your arsonist for a price. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. That's why the cat was hissing at me. All right, so we've gone ahead and picked up a few quests. Um, actually, we've been recording for about 30 minutes now, so we're going to go ahead and stop right there. Um, I realized with the Gwent, this was a little shorter than normal. However, um, we will definitely continue this on the next Witcher Wednesday. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you're not a subscriber yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave me a comment below and a like, and feel free to share. And until then, I'll talk to you later. Ciao.